uh, your organization has opposed to this prosecution. Could you tell this room why Amnesty does? Thank you. I think um, all the reasons have been already laid out, so let me just summarize it. I mean, we oppose it because um, uh, it, it violates uh, human rights, it violates the rights of Julian Assange, it violates his right to freedom of expression, it uh, violates the right of the public to know, it violates freedom of information. We believe that it is uh, politically uh, motivated, it violates um, our capacity to investigate and to get accountability for war crimes. Uh, because of the circumstances of his detention, it violates uh, Julian Assange's uh, right not to be tortured, right not to be under um, ill treatment. Um, there has been repeated uh, evidence of his, uh, the, the impact of his detention uh, over his mental health. Uh, we are certainly opposing his extradition because we don't believe that he will receive a fair trial, so it also violates the right to a fair trial. So we're very concerned about the conditions of his detention if he's extradited. We are very concerned about the use of solitary confinement for extended period of time, which would amount to torture. Whew, I don't know which <laughs> right is <laughs> we are not worried about. Um, you know, and, and um, at heart it's also about the, the double standard, the, the demands that the U US government is asking of other governments when uh, some, of, some of their journalists or American journalists are being detained under very similar circumstances and uh, their inability to, to see the impact that this uh, the detention or the extra the demand for extradition and the uh, the charges against Julian Assange's poses on the moral leadership of uh, of the United States. So you know, from a human rights standpoint, from a political standpoint, with the relationship with Australia, from a moral leadership standpoint, um, it does not. You know, it, it it's just. Um, a disaster to continue in, in that direction. And we too are calling on uh, the, uh, the Biden administration to do the right thing.